Today, I'm gonna use my Wire EDM to machine life-saving medical instruments known as laparoscopy grippers. Now, the most common material types for this application are 316L and 304 stainless steel. But what's the difference? Well, 316L stainless has 2-3% to molybdenum content, and that's going to give us additional corrosion resistance in saline environments. For that reason, today we're using 316L stainless steel for our laparoscopy grippers. For the wire type on this project, we're going to finish off this used spool of AC Cut AH900. Now this is gonna give us a really good finish on our parts, but what I love about it is it has RFID capabilities. What that means is, as soon as we load this into the machine, it's gonna load this wire type into the control, it's gonna provide dedicated technology for this wire, and it's gonna tell us exactly how much is on the spool. As you can see, as soon as we loaded it in, this light lit up, which tells us our machine is reading our wire type. Now all we gotta do is run it through the spools. This wire is gonna be charged with electricity and it's gonna produce up to 300,000 sparks per second. Those sparks are gonna burn right through our metal and that's how we're gonna make our part. All right, let's get to machining. We're gonna start out by taking care of these holes right here. Now, our finished hole diameter is 75 thousandths. Our start hole diameter is 40 thousandths. That's gonna leave us 17 and a half thousandths per side of material to remove to get to our finished diameter. The problem with that is it doesn't leave us much material for a slug. So we added in an extra rough pass right here to go ahead and take care of that so that we can run these holes completely unattended. Now after we're done with the holes, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the slots. Luckily for us, we have enough material to remove that we don't have to no-core the slots. Instead, we're gonna run a rough and four trim cuts. We'll pull the slugs after the rough pass, and then we'll finish up the trims and move on to the contour. So what is laparoscopy? It essentially allows doctors to look inside our body without making large incisions. Instead, they can make a small incision, come in with a laparoscope, and examine things like organs or glands. They can biopsy cysts or tumors, or even repair ulcers and hernias. So literally, things that could save your life. And what's crazy is the earliest of known attempts to look inside humans dates back all the way to 460 BC. But the first laparoscopy surgery wasn't actually performed until 1901, and it was performed on a dog. But the first major series of laparoscopies wasn't actually performed until 1910 by a guy named H.C. Jacobius. By 1911, he had performed over 80 laparoscopies with only one complication. So as you can see, there's been a lot of important people all throughout history that have used these tools to save lives, and machining is at the center of it all. All right, so that's it for our first stop. The finish on our parts looks amazing. So let's go ahead and pull this out and get set up for our second up.
take a look at our Op2 profile. Right off the bat, I see we've got holes here, we've got this radius that we're dealing with, and we've got these pockets right here. That's all gonna create varying thickness in the cut. Luckily for us, we have ISPS on our Cut P550 Pro. It's an intelligent spark protection system that's gonna adjust the spark energy in real time, and it's gonna keep our wire from breaking during the cut. All right, that's it for Op2. The parts look really, really good. Now the only thing we have to do is cut them off. Projects like this are my favorite because they really emphasize the importance of CNC machining. Sometimes you might be making a rocket part that's going to go up into space and push society to new heights. Other times you might be making a medical part that's going to potentially save someone's life. And that's an incredibly rewarding feeling. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Before I go, please hit that like and subscribe button. We'll catch you guys next time.